Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, and in this video, we're going to talk about the brand new for 2011 Revit Tarmac USA race replica style jacket. Think about this jacket. This is a murdered out black jacket, which comes from the fact that Revit listens to us. In their previous life, Revit had a jacket that was phenomenal track style jacket called Replica, very technical leather. But for the American market, we weren't in love with the amount of perf that it had. We also didn't like some of the big white logos on the jacket. What Revit has done with this reinvention of their track level jacket is they've basically taken the top half of a tarmac suit, made it completely perforated, completely punctuated throughout for a high degree of breathability for the American market, and they've just murdered it out. It's all blacked out. It's just phenomenal. It's very much a stealth jacket for $5.99. Joe is wearing a size 50. He's five foot eight. He's 165 pounds, comes in sizes 46 through 58. Joe, give a quick spin for me real quick. Talk about some of the features on this guy. You can keep coming back around. So let's talk about it. external. You're talking about race level cowhide for abrasion resistance. There's a tarmac set of pants for 439 that are going to 360 to zip, zip to this guy and basically give you the two piece suit option. But talk about the outside here. Full perforation. You have additional punctuation across the top. You're going to have Power shell, stretch power shell down the inside of the arms, which is like an S1 stretch panel that we see in some other manufacturers. It's strong, it's stretchy, it's gonna flow some air, give you additional breathability, but allow you, depending on if you're rail thin or depending on if you have big arms, gonna give you some room here. Notice the stitching here. It's just, there's a stylistic element of this guy as well. Turn to the side here for me. You have the blacked out Revit logo. Coming up to the protection, you're gonna have a, what I call the, the, the three-way protection system in both shoulder and elbows. And this is just my term for it. You have an external aluminum slider. You have a rubberized dual composite honeycomb base plate here for abrasion resistance additionally and for shock absorption. And then on the inside of this, you're gonna have pro-life armor, which is a big step up from basic CE level one armor that you're gonna see. You have in the shoulder, also in the elbow, you're gonna have articulation. You're going to have external aluminum slider, honeycomb injection molded plastic that then ties into a full elbow cup and forearm protection pro-life piece of armor that's inside this guy as well. As we look at the stitching here, you have areas of impact, impact that are impact prone that are going to be not perforated because non-perforated leather is a little bit stronger than perforated leather, but then anywhere else they could, they put holes in this guy so you're going to get a ton of airflow. Articulate hit the race position for me, Joe. So notice the stretch across the shoulder blades. It's meant to move with you. Notice the stitching here. A lot of double stitching. This is basically a track level jacket. Joe, turn completely backwards face that way. You're going to have the Revit sport hump. It's not as big as a GP style hump. It's going to be an aerodynamic sport hump. This jacket's going to be great for the track. It's also going to be great for aggressive street riding. So sometimes guys don't like that huge hump. It's an, again, another thing that Revit listened to based on what riders were asking for in the American market. What you also can't see is we'll show a close up on it, but we have perforation across the top of the hump. You also have a water bag ready hump that there's a hole built in here so that you can snake a water bag. It sits in the hump and you can snake it right up to your helmet. Notice the collar on this guy. Something that Revit's starting to do moving forward in both their adventure jackets as well as the race, the race suits, neoprene. It's going to create a tighter, tighter seal against your neck. It's going to be more comfortable, you know, especially when you're actively riding on the bike. It's not going to abrade. Notice more articulation, elasticated stretch panels down here across the seat. Remember, this guy has a 360 zipper to tie to the tarmac pants. And then you're also going to have the blacked out Revit logo. Spit back around for me, Joe. All right, so moving into the features of the Tarmac USA, I told Joe to get lost, pull the jacket off him. I'm gonna talk about some of the nuances. A lot of what Revit does so well is detail-based. You're only gonna see YKK zippers throughout on this guy. You're gonna see some other nice features like locking cuff zips here. So basically it's a YKK with the, with the zipper down in this position, which has this great piece of cuff on each side of the, of the zipper here. This isn't gonna move. You open the zipper, and it's gonna allow you to get out really easily. The other piece that's nice is stretch neoprene for comfort here in the wrist on the cuff that's gonna go around your glove. You know, we like that because it's comfortable. We asked our rep, we said, why are you excited about it? And he said, it's really, really awesome. And we said, wow, high five. That's, that's a hell of a way to articulate it there. So moving back into the jacket here, there's a couple key features that I didn't mention. You have big five to six inch side scoops here that are gonna be mesh backed, they're gonna flow a ton of air to the sides of your body. Whether you're on the track or you're on the street, this is a huge feature. This guy, again, you have to remember the American market is perforation based. In Europe, they make a lot of things. You have a lot of different climates that are a little bit cooler. You don't see as much perf. In the American market, whether you're track or street, day or street riding, 
people go for full perf. They know that in the winter time, if they're riding in the rain, they're going to wear something that's a lot of times going to be textile. So going perf in the, in the United States is the way to go. And this jacket's going to cover the keeping you cool factor in spade. Also, a lot of metric guys, a lot of sport, a lot of Euro guys are really going to be three season summer or warm weather riders as well. Not so much on the adventure guys that are going year round. Moving past that, let's go inside the jacket now. Notice it's got the, the Revit mesh liner. And I talked about the 360 degree you know, stretch panel that's gonna connect to the pants. Also has a seven inch connection zipper. But the nice part about this guy is it does have a body warmer. And the body warmer is very easy to remove. The other thing you're gonna remember about this guy is that you can upgrade the back protection here as well. You know, we talked a little bit about it. It's gonna come with a foam panel and through this pocket you'd access it. This is the Knox TP2 CE level two rated back armor that you basically install like that. If you're planning on putting it in, make sure when you're trying this guy on, you take a deep breath or when you take your chest measurement, take a deep breath and hold it. And that extra inch that's gonna give you is gonna give you plenty of room to put a, install a back protector or do an external race back protector if you're gonna wear this guy on the track. The other piece I wanna mention here, and you have this great mesh liner that's gonna keep you cool and it's gonna stay sanitized as you have this pocket down here and you go up the back of the jacket and this is how you would access the water bag system, which I believe is a 500 milliliter, it's a half a liter sized um, water bag that it will take to keep you hydrated while you're on the track. Basic things, it has some pockets. Notice the inside of the neoprene, there's slight padding here to keep you comfortable and you have a couple pockets. But really what this guy is, is designed to do is look phenomenal, but be very aggressive, be very technical. It's track oriented. It's a $600 jacket at $599. I already talked about Joe. It's gonna be, it's gonna fit along the lines of other Revit jackets that are leather, but it's going to be uh, an aggressive fit, and that aggressive fit is going to keep your body, your limbs in place in the event that you're getting off your bike. It's going to do a great job of not only keeping you together and keep you, you know, away from the pavement, but it's going to keep your body in place. So it's not meant to have the largest range of motion other than the range of motion you need for aggressive or spirited motorcycle riding. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us. I'm happy to hop on the phone with anybody and break down the difference between the Tarmax and something like an A-Stars jacket or a Dianese jacket. You know, there's definitely a food chain of leather jackets, and there are definitely trade-offs and benefits that you get depending on your type of riding, where you're going to primarily spend your time and what you're trying to accomplish. Use the Revzilla team as experts in helping you home in on the ideal jacket for you. See us at Revzilla.com via email, 877-792-9455. As always, this guy is going to ship for free. If you get the wrong size, send it back to us. We'll send you the first exchange for free as well. It's our way of trying to take some of the risk out of buying online. And anything over 100 bucks, you have the ability to earn up to 5% back in Teamzilla Cash. This guy is $600. You're going to earn 30 bucks back towards your next order just for buying it from us. Help you save money in the long run. Guys that wear a level of this jacket are typically wearing gloves that are going to match at this level. They're also, they, you know, race level helmets, boots. There's a lot of pieces of the puzzle to keep you safe on a motorcycle if, you're, if your goal is to go fast and, and do well on the track situation or in spirited riding conditions, and we help you save some money over time. Be sure also to check out the full one-piece suit that has a very similar styling and comes in some other colors. It's new for 2011 as well. Check out revzilla.com slash revit. Once again, this is the Tarmac USA all black, murdered out, technical race level jacket that's meant to be the top half of a one piece suit. I'm Anthony, thanks for watching today. We'll see you next time on Revzilla TV.